So just another day, me scrolling through the tweets and Twitters, and I come across a tweet from Comic Book Now. Now they're infamous for saying some crazy off-the-wall stuff, but this is something that kind of really got to me, because it was not even them just making shit up, because some of this is true in here or whatever, but it's them using their opinion in this one, and this is why I'm particularly bothered, because they're voicing their shit in regards to something that is just inaccurate. They are saying something that is just really inaccurate here, and they also have an article, and what I mean by inaccurate is, okay, because essentially what this article, and we're gonna do a deep dive, but essentially what they're trying to say with this little piece that they put together is that we the fans should be thankful to Dragon Ball Evolution because of the happy accident that it caused because essentially what happened to give you guys a brief rundown after Dragon Ball Evolution's huge failure a lot of shit happened and one thing led to another I believe Dragon Ball Heroes led to ultimately the movies and then the anime and all of that shit there was just a lot of stuff that led through that way and while Evolution again was a helping hand in that we never should thank a happy accident from a train wreck it's almost like are we supposed to think if i drop a bottle of milk right now and it shatters everywhere and milk goes all over the place if i did one positive thing out of all that i don't know maybe uh the milk was going to expire in two hours anyways is that okay you know what i'm saying like is that fine that hey okay maybe it did some good along the way but ultimately it still sucks you know what i'm saying even the director of dragon ball evolution it took him a long time I think 10 years, but he finally came out and apologized for the catastrophe that was Dragon Ball Evolution. He came out and even apologized. So regardless of what, we should not be thankful to it. Yes, there's a happy accident there. Yeah, it did play a part in it. But just think for a second, if Dragon Ball Evolution wasn't what it was, and it was actually a really good film, what could have led from that direction we could have still ultimately got another dragon ball anime but it could have been something where we could have had some big hollywood projects where we could have led anime in a direction essentially to be the anime or the japanese version the eastern version of what american comics are doing with the avengers and stuff like that if dragon ball would have pop off then naruto then bleach one piece and then eventually they all could have come together for some big like they could have done many things so dragon ball evolution ruined a lot of things of potentially even boosting popularity of anime and Dragon Ball as a whole into the West because just imagine if we had Hollywood success with Dragon Ball Evolution continuing forward other anime movies like it could have been bigger and better than ever you know right now so um, I'm not gonna thank Dragon Ball Evolution for anything but let's read this article so again on Twitter it says from comic book now if you're a big Dragon Ball super fan then you owe it to Dragon Ball Evolution for Brennan or Brenning Brenning oh wow this is a uh, incredible here a little typo there buddy uh, the anime back and then it has a picture of evolution and a link so we're going to click that link and then once again it says this time Dragon Ball Evolution helped revive the Dragon Ball anime so it helped it these it's more important than ever like oh my god this is terrible these I i'm imagining them in these days is more important than ever to remember a fundamental fact of the universe my god it's often darkest just before the dawn fans of Dragon Ball should understand this concept better than most as they owe the franchise's worst installment for ultimately creating the brand resurgence that we've seen with Dragon Ball Super in last year or so. Um, so no, we, we, we shouldn't thank Akira Toriyama for deciding that he wanted to do something great and, and you know, come back and do these movies and shit. We shouldn't uh, uh, thank, you know, Heroes, that was a big part of it, Dragon Ball Heroes and Namco Bandai desperately wanting more merchandising, you know what I'm saying? New characters, all this stuff. No, 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 no. Just the happy accident that was a domino effect of Dragon Ball Evolution. Dom you know, the failure of Dragon Ball Evolution is what we gotta thank. Nothing, like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> but let's continue. In fact, it was the total bastardization of the Dragon Ball characters and lore in the 2009 live-action Hollywood film Dragon Ball Evolution that compelled series creator Akira Toriyama to once again involve himself in the creation of Dragon Ball content. 
as Toriyama described in the opening comment of the 30th anniversary Dragon Ball Super history book. Dragon Ball once became a thing of the past to me, but after that, I got angry about the live action movie, rewrote an entire movie script, and now I'm complaining about the quality of the new TV anime. So it seems that Dragon Ball has grown on me much that I can't leave it alone. We did cover this in the past. I love hearing about that. And again, yeah, Dragon Ball Evolution was something that played a part in it, but I owe them fucking up and making this piece of shit film? I owe them for that? When we could have had possibly the Avengers or the Justice League of anime right now, but because of this shitty movie, instead, we didn't get none of that. We just got people looking at anime and Dragon Ball like, it's a failure, it's, it could have been something big. You kidding me? Don't get me wrong, Dragon Ball and anime is popping right now, but I'm not gonna credit a piece of shit film that turned a lot of people away. I'm not gonna do it. The comment refers to Toriyama returning to help shape the script for the 2013 film and inspiration for Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. After seeing what had happened with Dragon Ball Evolution, Toriyama was famously unhappy with what Battle of Gods was originally supposed to be, reshaping the story entirely. I don't think he was really like just distraught about it. I, all I heard was that he just wanted to make changes as you know people that are involved in the production do. He was also unhappy with some of the later series animation quality that is true and also made his voice heard on that front again this is just a hearty reminder that we should all be more zen about the ebb and flow of life bad things may happen but better things can grow out of them yes that is true but again i'm not thanking or owing dragon ball evolution shit if there was no dragon ball evolution the toriyama may still be coasting on laurels whatever that means and things would be nowhere near as hype for Dragon Ball as they are today. By the same token, while Dragon Ball hype is big right now, there's still a Dragon Ball Evolution sequel script still out there lurking. So yes, once again, to cover the facts, because facts are important, you know, an opinion is one thing, facts are important, yes, Dragon Ball Evolution did inspire, or its disgusting nature inspired Toriyama to jump on board with Battle of Gods, and it spawned the whole revival, them steering away from live action with Dragon Ball, period, but... I, I gotta say the what would have happened if this succeeded if this was an actual good film for starters we would have had a fucking good film we could have start a charge of yo this is the biggest series that we have to offer and it slam dunked with a great film we wouldn't have had to have 10 years later the director come back and say oh I'm, I'm, a, I'm a piece of shit was it 10 or 7 I don't even remember but like years later he came back and said the movie was garbage I wanted money out of it if the people behind this said legit we did not care when creating this film we did not care we didn't care we just wanted money we didn't give a fuck we didn't go to the source material we didn't give a fuck how are we supposed to think that we don't we don't accept something like that so absolutely not we don't owe dragon ball evolution my pubic hair and this article is disgusting. Like, they pull some bullshit from time to time. Sometimes they're on point. But no, I'm not owing nothing to a terrible film that fucked up a lot of opportunity for the medium that I love, which is anime and manga. So, eh, you're wrong. Curious what you guys think about this, though. Just because a happy accident, which is Dragon Ball Evolution's failure leading to Toriyama's inspiration and the revival in that regard, you think that we should say... Dragon Ball Evolution, you did your thing. That's kind of like, for example, a great example right now. Uh, Eminem comes out with another album later this year or next year, and we all love it because he was inspired to make this album after the hate he got from critics. Is, does that make it, for example, the people that hate Revival, does that make them like, yeah, Revival did its thing? No, and neither is this going to happen. Absolutely not. Um, again, your overall thoughts of this, do you agree with them that we should be like... Dragon Ball Evolution for the win, or it's a happy accident and serves no purpose other than, hey, um, you fucked up Dragon Ball and movies of anime in the West, buddy. I mean, we're still trying to come back from that shit. We still, to this day, have such a horrible stigma from all the films that follow Dragon Ball Evolution that give a stigma of like, <laughs> it's an anime live action adaptation. It's probably trash. Dragon Ball Evolution set that bar. That is insane, but... That is all I have for this rant. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fnub World. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule, anime and manga for life, boy. Bow.
Have an awesome day.